just want to apologize that I don't have a come thrifting with me portion in the beginning of this video. I mean, if you guys watch my channel a lot, you'll know that that's typically what I do in my thrifting videos. But um, as I sat down to edit, I realized that I had no footage for me thrifting. So I'm just like not even going to bother to put it in the video. But today's thrift to try and haul is going to be a little bit more special. I mean, honestly, not really because the majority of the stuff I thrift all the time anyways. But I'm kind of do it like a back to school thrift because I mean, it is like August 2nd and um, I'm such an advocate for thrifting your clothes now and I wish in high school I thrifted way more because that would have saved my parents a lot of money especially if you're someone that likes to go back to school shopping at places like Urban Outfitters and those type of stores so yeah this is just gonna be kind of I don't want to call it a vintage back to school haul because none of this stuff is really vintage but it's typically stuff that you would find at Urban Outfitters but like thrifting you can get it for way cheaper for your back to school so I'm just like encourage you guys like Urban Outfitters is great I work there but um you know if you're not trying to break your parents bank we're gonna do it this way and I do resell on Depop so if you do like my style or anything like that my Depop is gonna be at Viola Demion and then if you just want to show the internet with me or become my best friend then my Instagram is gonna be at 1-800-BUY and yeah let's just get on into all this thrifting So I know it's summer, but a lot of the stuff that we did sell a lot for back to school shopping and even like the fall school shopping is funky sweaters at Urban. And I picked up just like quite a few, honestly. So starting with this, it's kind of like a green, yellow, off type striped sweater. I am obsessed with these types of sweaters because as you guys know, I mean, if you go to high school or any type of school and if you have like a 7 a.m. class, these sweaters are just great because it's like not your typical like long sleeve they're just really nice and you could wear like some type of tank top I mean I know dress code but you can wear these and then have a t-shirt underneath like you know once it starts to get a little bit more warmer throughout the day so I think these just add like a nice little touch I mean it kind of makes you look lazy but it makes you look cooler because the sweater is cooler so I'm just showing you guys this one this one's a little bit more fuzzy and definitely more warm like I could not see like you would probably get hot in this within like five seconds if it's not a nice breeze outside but it is just so warm and comfy and then I got one other striped sweater I really like the colorway on this one and yeah I just think these are so perfect especially like I don't know tucked into mom jeans with a really thick belt honestly these sweaters just remind me of Emma Chamberlain for some reason like with a cute little scrunchie in your hair and then just wearing one of these sweaters with mom jeans and I don't know some vans not vans maybe converse maybe even some booties that could be cute too let's just start with t-shirts now so so this is actually one of the t-shirts that I got. I'm just, I think it's so cute and dainty and it just really gives it like beachy vibes and it just makes me not hate the fact that I might be in class. I don't know, it's just really cute and I paired it with these Adidas shorts that also I thrifted as well. I mean, I thrifted these a long time ago, but I thought this was really cute. Again, like this is an outfit that I would dead ass probably wear to school if I was trying to be lazy for the day and I don't want to wear like a dress or anything like that. This is straight up something that I would wear if I was in high school or even in college. In college I was 10 times more of a mess like I never got dressed up in college but when I was in high school it was a different story but yeah I just want to show you guys that you can thrift your outfit that's why I'm showing you guys these pants but the next couple of t-shirts that I got I do want to warn you you could definitely not wear these in high school but this is part of my like I don't know uniform or type thing that I would wear in like college classes which would be just baggy t-shirts I loved wearing baggy t-shirts so this is a navy Tommy Bahama one and the back one I think it's cute because it says a pineapple a day and um you know you know pineapple day just gets the little juices a little bit more sweeter if you know what I'm talking about and then I have this one this prig unique honestly I am such a piece of shit because this just reminds me of beer vibes. I don't know if this is beer, but it just reminded me of it. I'm thinking it is. It might not be. I don't think it is. See, I'm an idiot, but I just love, again, t-shirts like this. I think tucked into, again, mom jeans, which is so weird. If you guys watch my channel, you know I used to hate jeans, but I'm really liking them, especially over maybe funky Spanx. If you guys are original, I, why did I even say that? But I used to always pair my graphic t-shirts with my checkered biker shorts that I used to have. So I think these type of t-shirts 
over biker shorts are also really cute and with like some fuzzy slippers and you're out the door it just makes your outfit that much less boring than like a typical I don't know sweatshirt and sweats on your lazy day to school and then I also found this Chevy trucks like a little t-shirt and it has little built-in like holes like someone distressed it which I think is really cute and this is actually is fitted really nicely and this is a t-shirt from I'm pretty sure last year's state fair which I thought was pretty cool because this year when I went I got one of these and this is last year's and then this one I am obsessed with I'm thinking about keeping it but I'm not sure so this is a Jaeger tea I used to get drunk off this all the time fresh out of high school I don't know why because this is literally just liquid syrup and it's disgusting but it just brought back so many memories and I like the way that this t-shirt uh, like looks like I'm really into the whole faded black type of style and it's just really comfy and you can never go wrong with a beer tea speaking of this one which is just a corona so if you don't like hard alcohol i have a corona one and this is just a navy blue one and the back is really cute i've thrifted a bunch of corona teas but i think this is probably one of my favorites it just is really cute and i don't know but yeah that was it for the graphic tees if you do watch a lot of my hauls you know that almost every single graphic tee that i do own actually Actually comes from the Goodwill outlets or the thrift store because I personally just can't seem to spend $50 on a graphic t-shirt just there's like something about that that just screams no and um, a lot of vintage stores especially when I lived in SF their vintage tees like if you were to go to a vintage store they would be like $50 and I'm like I could literally get that at a thrift store for 10 times t-shirt cheaper so that's why i always recommend going to the thrift store first for your um t-shirts not a vintage store a thrift store this next one we actually sold at urban like this same type like 90s vertical stripe i mean these aren't really like 90s colors but i'm really into these button downs i wish this was smaller because i really like wearing these like open kind of like over a tank top and some shorts i think is just really cute i don't know it's just like gives it a different take i mean i feel like this is is meant for guys but it could definitely be unisex if you're gonna thrift one thing it has to be like your denim or outerwear I think that is the number one thing to thrift because it is so incredibly cheap at the thrift store versus in stores it could range from like hundred and seventy dollars like some of the denim jackets that we would sell would be like hundred and eighty and I'm just like that is literally insane when you can find that at a thrift store for like $12 so starting with this camo jacket now I'm not really into camo that much as I was like a little bit over a year ago but I really did like this gray wash camo and it's kind of in like the denim coat style but it's a little bit thin so it's not too thick and I just thought it was perfect because it kind of has like that boyfriend for it fit it's definitely a little bit too big for me but if you're taller if you're someone who's way taller this could fit perfectly I think it is like such an amazing staple because it's again it's like denim but it's really light the next one is definitely like maybe not back to school because it is seriously still so hot outside but it is this thick corduroy jacket and this is just very complete on the lazy days with the scrunchie i feel like this has a lot of room so you could wear a sweatshirt really layer with this one and the inside is like really cute and has like the green plaid and i just think it's such a staple like this black corduroy jacket i am obsessed with corduroy especially oversized just layering in the fall i think is the absolute cutest and then of course I always see people buy a classic denim jacket as a start of back to school. You can seriously just please thrift your denim jacket. I mean, there are some things that I feel like could be a good investment. Like I was at Nordstrom with my sister the other day and they were some of their denim jackets were like $60. And I think like that's an investment because it's something that you'll typically wear over and over again versus a lot of the things you'll only wear like a couple times like it, like dresses like I would always see people spend like $80 on dresses and honestly how many times are you gonna wear that dress like let's be real versus like spending $80 on a denim jacket that you'll wear over and over again so I feel like maybe I was wrong like jackets is something that's okay but I you'll just find like such cheaper ones at the thrift store and as you can see this is like literally a normal denim jacket and it's lee so it's not quite levi's but i do have a levi's one up on my depop and then <laughs> we'll move on to the denim the thrift store is filled with denim freaking pants 
all over like I don't care what thrift store you go to I feel like there's always good denim especially here in Sacramento I always find Levi 501s Levi 550s I think and I think they are just so cute I it's like probably one of the only denims I will wear and this has like this kind of zipper but this is the perfect like mom fit jean I'm pretty sure we sell these at Urban except they're even ripped and um even no, no matter where you go, the Levi store, like any, they can range from like fifty to seventy dollars to sometimes even like ninety five if they have a lot of distress things going on, especially Levi's. So I highly recommend going to a thrift store to check out to find some Levi's before you go and spend big bucks because people are obsessed with the old school Levi's, so they'll resell them for a lot, which is kind of crazy to me. And the same thing with Wranglers. I always find Wranglers as well, but I did find these Ralph Lauren jeans as well. Actually, Julie found them, but she didn't want them, so she gave them to me, and they're kind of a little bit high-waisted, and I feel like there's so many cute DIY opportunities with these. You can change them into shorts, cut them up, rip them up, so I might do a little DIY with these, and then and the last pair of bottoms that I found were these amazing corduroy like flare pants. I wish I was tall. I actually have not tried these on yet, so I won't know until the try on portion. But I think these are the cutest pants ever. I can't quite tell if they're going to be like a little bit low rise or what's going on. But I think they are the cutest pants ever. And I feel like this is the type of stuff that you will find at the thrift store and that's why I love going to the thrift store because to find things like these. I used to rave about this all the time back in the day in my thrift videos but thrifting your sports stuff. So like I said, Adidas and all of that, almost all of my Adidas, like full tracksuits, anything I have thrifted, I like honestly refuse to pay full price for Adidas. I don't know why. Maybe if I like had money, I would just spend it. But you know, if you're someone that doesn't, you can find the same stuff at the thrift store. So I did find these like just Adidas sweats. I mean, they're not like the cute old school Adidas, but I thrift those all the time as well. These are just like a classic gray stripe and then they have the adidas down the side of one of these you'll see it in the try on portion and i don't know i feel like track pants are an essential for back to school shopping and then of course a type of hoodie so i have it just this gray adidas one this one is definitely way too big for me but something that i do all the time is actually i wear sweatshirts or um long t-shirts as dresses and i'll put spanks underneath just in case i have a little accident but i loved doing it because it's like the best it makes you feel like you're still wearing pjs except this uh adidas thing has like ripped sleeves but honestly i kind of like it i don't really mind stuff like this so if you're someone that does then don't go on my depop this sweatshirt so this is actually the last one i have thrifted this exact same one so except this one is a size small the one i have is like an oversized it's like that Adidas one so I like to wear that one as a dress and I wear this sweatshirt like every single day when it was a little bit chilly outside I think it is so cute it's the Sierra Nevada one and it fits so perfectly I think it is like the perfect sweatshirt it's not too baggy and it's not too tight and I just love this graphic like I'm obsessed with it and I can't believe I found it again I thought that was pretty cool and then some of the last things that I thrifted was just this cute little Tommy like gym bag now this one could be your gym bag for school if you do sports or in college I mean this is kind of small but um I always paid full price for like huge Nike ones back when I played lacrosse in high school so definitely try to see if you can thrift like a cute little gym bag or sports bag because you, you'll be surprised you might find a cute one and the last thing that I thrifted were these Rebecca Minkoff booties definitely I know I keep saying this and it's probably so annoying but look at the thrift store for shoes if you watch my channel you'll know that almost the majority of my shoes are either thrifted or from forever 21 but I always find like my cool booties from the thrift store and I mean Rebecca Minkoff it's pretty expensive I mean it's not expensive but they are from Nordstrom and I just think they are so cute and it's the perfect type of heel where you could still wear it to school um I'm not a girl that would wear heels not heels but like little booties when I was in high school I don't know I was just that girl and then I also wear them in college too so if I want to get like a little bit dressed up and just throw on a dress and booties that is probably like the lazy girl hack in getting ready in the morning for school is just wear a dress and booties and you'll be comfortable all day because first off wearing a dress 
feels like you're wearing nothing and you don't have to plan an outfit you just throw the dress on and then booties they don't really hurt your feet you're sitting down all day so they shouldn't really be hurting your feet and um it just makes it look like you got dressed up but really it took you faster to think of that outfit versus trying to match like a t-shirt and shorts if you guys know what i'm talking about but yeah that is pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed and got some inspiration on what to look for when you do go if you do go thrift shopping back to school or whatever and i will be probably having like another like regular back to school haul but this is just like my thrifted one because I feel like there's just like certain things that are just better thrift thrift I mean obviously like if you go to the regular store I feel like buying really basic tube tops or really on trend pieces like I don't know body suits and stuff like that you can definitely go to the store and buy that but just certain things like graphic tees jeans I just think you're better off thrifting because you'll save money in the long run and yeah that is pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching please like subscribe do all that and I will see you guys in my next video bye